Hi, welcome to this new video in the series on Bluetooth Low Energy Technology. My name is Mohamed Afani, and in today's video, we'll be looking at one of the recent and most exciting advances in Bluetooth Low Energy development, Web Bluetooth. Some of the topics we'll address in this video include the definition of Web Bluetooth, we'll also cover its limitations and benefits, as well as how it works, and finally we'll close with a code example showing how simple a Web Bluetooth application can be. So what is Web Bluetooth? Well, Web Bluetooth was introduced by Google in 2014. It is provided as a JavaScript API that allows developers to develop websites that interact directly with Bluetooth Low Energy devices. Now this is done by the browser gaining access to the Bluetooth Low Energy chipset that's embedded in the device that the browser is running on. This could be a smartphone, a PC, a tablet, or whatever device that's capable of running a web browser that supports Web Bluetooth. Now let's look at some of the benefits of using Web Bluetooth. Some of these include alleviating the need for multiple native apps to talk to different Bluetooth Low Energy devices, and instead one web application can be developed to talk to multiple BLE devices. Rapid and easy development, multiple platform and multiple browser support, automatic functionality updates, security and privacy measures, which require HTTPS and user permissions, as well as user interaction for interacting with BLE devices. On the other hand, some of its limitations include its limited functionality and capability. So for example, support for the central role only and no peripheral role, no support for automatic discovery and connectivity, lack of APIs for other functionality and newer Bluetooth low energy features. Because of these mentioned limitations, it's also not suitable for complex applications. Another limitation is that it has limited browser and OS support, at least at the time of the recording of this video. And finally, it's still not a W3C standard yet, which ties into its limited adoption and support. W3C is the World Wide Web Consortium, which is the main international standards organization for the World Wide Web. Now let's talk about what browsers support Web Bluetooth. So naturally, since Google pioneered the creation of Web Bluetooth, the first browsers to adopt it were Google's Chrome browser and the Android browser. Also in addition to that, the Opera browser and its mobile versions both support Web Bluetooth. And finally, the relatively new Samsung internet browser also supports it too. As far as operating system support, the following OSs currently support Web Bluetooth. Mac OS, Android, Chrome OS, Linux, and iOS via a dedicated app. So how does Web Bluetooth work? Well, simply it exposes JavaScript APIs that allow the user to interface with the Bluetooth Low Energy chipset that's embedded in the device through the browser on their device. This relies heavily on the JavaScript concept called promises, which we won't get into in this video. The APIs provided cover most of the common functionality that you would expect for interacting with a Bluetooth Low Energy device. This includes, for example, device advertisement discovery, connecting to devices, discovering services and characteristics, as well as performing the different operations on the characteristics, including reads, writes, and notifications. The basic steps of a typical web Bluetooth application are very similar to embedded or mobile BLE applications. First, scanning for a target device, which will display a dialog to the user to request their permission and ask them to select a device. Scanning could involve a filter to only show devices that support specific GAT services, or it could be with no filter applied. Second would be connecting to the device. And the next step after that would be to find the GAT service of interest, and subsequently the characteristic of interest within that service. Finally, and the last step would be to perform an operation on that characteristic, such as reading its value, writing to its value, or subscribing to notifications to get notified when the value changes in the future. Here's an example that shows how simple the Web Bluetooth API is and how short a complete application could potentially be. Just a few lines of code. The example here shows all the steps that we discussed earlier. And in this specific case, it scans for a device that includes the standard battery service, 
then it connects to the device, then it gets the battery service, then the battery level characteristic, and finally it reads the battery level characteristic value. To learn more about Elasis, provider of the world's most advanced Bluetooth analyzers, visit elasis.com. Have a need for training or design services? Then contact our training partner, Novelbits, at novelbits.io. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learned a little bit more about BLE. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.